Yo, what is up, people? It is your boy Sneewood right here, and I hope you guys had a fantastic day today. Okay, so back again on some more career mode. Obviously, my MK Don's career, uh, smashing it as I always say. Um, but first of all, before we get onto our first game, which is against Crystal Palace uh, away before the January transfer window as well, uh, we do have that literally right after the game. Um, we, uh, I was just going to go through two transfers that I've done. Again, my spray going off. Jesus Christ. Anyway. Uh, two transfers that I've already done. Uh, one other thing I might have shown is this guy called Jay Savarino. He's a right wing slash right mid, 25 years old, uh, with seven months still left in his contract. But um, yeah, you know, I've offered him a 20 grand a week contract. He's on 9,100 at the moment. Um, looked like a pretty decent player. Um, spent 9.3 million on him. Uh, he's worth 10 and a half. You know, so looked like a good player. Good player to help out Van Bergen as well. So I needed that extra. You know, that extra, you know, bodies on that side really. I've got a lot of left sided, but I needed that extra on the right side. So I thought I'd get him anyways. And then this guy uh, called Serginio Dest, a right back slash left back. So I can play both uh, wing back positions. Um, he plays for Ajax. He's got one year left in his deal as well. Um, he's a 21 year old from the United States. He's an £8,000 a week at the moment, but I've actually uh, agreed a £17,500 a week contract with him. And uh, I've bought him for two and a half million pounds plus a swap. It does actually say that, which is really weird sometimes. I don't know why it doesn't do that. Um, but I actually swapped him for my Wonders from Pereira, my 19 year old Brazilian uh, right back who I don't mind him, but yeah, I don't think he's all that. But I actually see something in him. Maybe he might develop into a better player, and it's not really good knowing that. But this guy I've had on my list for quite a while, so. I thought I'd get him and uh, see what he's all about to be honest so yeah that was that really so that's all I want to start with it's going to be January transfer window so hopefully we can get some things done whether we buy anyone uh, we've got a few players selling as well so yeah so who we got so we've got um, yeah these three so we've got Tavares a 19 year old Brazilian as well and he's only on 700 pound a week at mine uh, but he's been on a few loan spells. I've played him a few times before, but I'm not really a massive fan of him. So I thought I'd get rid of him, as I ain't going to be playing him as much. I've got loads of players in that position as well. Um, but at 1.15... Uh, wait, what's he going? Yeah, he's going for £1.15 million. Pounds, so, yeah, it's a little bit of money. It is what it is. Um, then we're selling Clementia, uh, the 24-year-old goalkeeper, the French international. Uh, he's going to Cardiff uh, for £3.95 million. Pounds. He was... Offered by Feyenoord at first, but then kind of with a second team that came in for him. So, um, yeah, we get rid of him because I feel like the two keepers I've got are fine, as well as my youngster is obviously improving. Um, and then we've got Carlos Linz, another youngster, another 19 year old Brazilian. Um, just again, one reason why I'm selling him is because his work rate's low, and uh, as in both attack and defence work rate are very low. Uh, so, I just thought with that, you know, I didn't want to play that, you know, low on. Uh, his, uh, his work rate so he's, he's an alright player but I just thought you know what I'm not going to bother so again a lot of people in that position as well so 1.95 million pounds from a Brazilian team as well I think it's Gremio um, I think it is um, but yeah anyways he's a uh, no Atletico Mineiro that's it it says there uh, I thought it was Gremio um, someone's going it was someone bit from Gremio or someone else I don't know anyway that's it, that's all I wanted to show you guys, obviously the transfers that I have done uh, so far before the window opens, so, um, but yeah, so, yeah, just wanted to show that, so let's go straight ahead with the first game, with Crystal Palace away, hopefully three points in the bag, let's do this. Come on, so Bosley, yes, 1-0, great start, and Bosley puts it into the corner there, what a finish as well to be fair. Great turn as well, uh, good little ball here and then turn there and then yeah just a simple stroke forward and then smash it into the corner and it is 1-0, good start. Go on then Ketia, go on that's it, play along, that's it, it's a goal, short. No way, Bosley missed that, what? He just like rolled past him, are you kidding me? Bosley makes it 2-0 with a header. You know, sort of made up for that, but that chance literally two minutes ago. Unbelievable. I can't believe I missed that. 
But Henry Vacker puts in a great ball in from the corner. It's a great header from Bosley of his second goal in the game. Proving that maybe I should be playing him and not... Uh, it's his fifth Premier League goal as well, but maybe play him instead of Watson. Uh, Watson hasn't been playing fantastic, but yeah, I mean, good player. And then it's 2-0. Oh. Come on, Bosley. Oh, what a hat-trick that would have been. Great turn and everything. There you go. Nice, comfortable 2-0 victory. Three points made short in the bag. Uh, just before, obviously, the new year. On January. Um, yeah, not really much to say to it. Palace done well in possession wise, but just couldn't create can't, uh, can't. <laughs> couldn't create chances. So uh, we managed to get the win. That's all that matters. So good two goals from Sir Bosley, and that is it. Two nil victory. Okay, so on to our next game. It is the third round of the FA Cup, and it is surprisingly, as I probably did mention in the last video, we have got Crystal Palace in that next round. Uh, so we're into January now, so transfer windows open. So players have gone. Um, obviously you've got players coming through. I've brought in a few youngsters as well. Um, they look actually insane and incredible to be fair. Um, again, I've just got to develop them. But yeah, so we're into that. So hopefully we can uh, play this and win this uh, comfortably. Uh, done really well actually um, against them um, at their place. Beat them 2-0 to get three points. But now to knock them out of the FA Cup. Let's do it. This. Oh, well done, Dak. Go on. In the box, my son. Oh, oh what's a goal that would have been from Watson? What a hit. I didn't even expect it to land to him. Got Green at the back. Finally, the first goal of the game. Completely deserve it. Uh, ran down the wing there with Van Bergen and Green with, I think, his first goal of the whole season. Uh, he's, he came as a sub more than started, obviously, but the youngster, 17 years old, um, honestly, it's going to be, well, Actually, looking from that camera angle, it only just went in. Look how close this is. Jesus, it don't even look like it is Ed. <laughs> um, but it's 1 0. Great goal from Green. And that's it at the end of the day. Good start. Oh, unbelievable. Great play. Van Bergen makes it 2 0. Uh, I don't know what else to say. You know, 2 0. Definitely deserved. Great little play from Dak as well to do a little. Back on to get it in front of Bergen and then bam, straight onto it. And there you go, there's not really much to say on that one. I mean, it just couldn't stop me. Van Bergen, when Van Bergen is in that form, that pace, just unbelievable and just you just can't stop him. Literally unstoppable. But it is 2 0. Oh, so rescue into the box. Oh, Dak, go on, mate. Yay! Dak has first goal for a while as well. And he gets off and running in the FA Cup. And he makes it 3-0. Very easy game. Um, it's a bit of a weaker side compared to the game we just played in, uh, to be honest. But, here, yeah, 3-0. Can't say more. So, well done, Dakar. Okay, I want it to my left side. Lemos. He scores. It's 4-0. Uh, Palace just opening themselves up now. 4-0. could get even worse. But, Lemos, my youngster, who I did buy for about... No, no, I got him for free, didn't I? Um, I keep thinking he came through as the, in the youth system. I'm not sure if he did. Um, I don't think he did, but he comes on for Watson anyways and gets a goal. So, you know, uh, doesn't play as much even in the League Cup, uh, which we have got next, obviously. But, yeah, um, gets a goal and that's it. So, a bit of boost of confidence there. So, 4-0. Oh, Lemos for 1-2. There you go, 5 0. Lemos comes on and gets two goals in the FA Cup. What a story, to be honest. Um, great 1 2 with Lemos and Dakar. Again, like I said, there's not much to say on it. The Palace has just turned it off, and somehow it's been much more of an easier game than what it was in the last game. But look at that, simple 1 2. Slots it in. The only difference we're at home. So, this time. But nice little slot there. And it is 5 0. That's an easy piece of goalkeeping. What? Wow. Um, Alright, it doesn't matter we're winning anyways, but that's a perfect goal to be honest. Again, it's another goal where I've thrown it. Alright, it's kind of, maybe, it, I, it, the only thing I can admit is it's a tiny bit close to their player, but not really. Um, but yeah, so, whatever, it's only one goal. So. And there you go, here's a 5-1 victory through to the 4th round of the FA Cup. 
Again, that goal is just a bit stupid. I'm sorry, but if you look back on it, you'll know what I mean. Like, I, the, their play wasn't really near the, the ball at the start, and then he just, I guess his little pace, burst of pace, you know, managed to get the ball. I don't know, but it's what it is. So, 5 1 win, that's all it matters. Next round. Okay, so our next game is against Tottenham Hotspur um, for the uh, League Cup. Wow, that spray. I keep saying it, but it keeps bloody going off every time I go and talk. It's crazy. Um, but yeah, so we've got Tottenham uh, in the League Cup. So hopefully we can win this. Um, obviously, we, yeah, like I said, League Cup semi finals. Yeah, semi finals. We've got them two legs, so we've got them two matches, uh, which I don't think will be played in this video. I'm not 100% sure. This is the third game we're on. No, it won't. So we've got Tottenham again, 26. So to finish the video, we've got uh, Tottenham, also, like I said, now. Then we've got United to finish off uh, this video for you guys. So. Um, and then we start off with Man City, which is quite tough, but hopefully we can get the points there. Um, but yeah, like I said, Tottenham League Cup, other semi finals. Let's do this. Let's hope we can get a good result. <sighs> Jesus. Alright, not been many chances, but they're you know, proving difficult to rate now. Come on, this has got to be a good sack. Come on, Tavares. Already knackered. This guy's. Energy is rubbish. Oh, been fouled there. And the referee has pointed to the spot. A penalty it is, and a chance for them to Wow, it's ahead. a penalty. I... That could well be his right. To be fair, I didn't know that was a penalty at all. Um, I don't know, to be honest, that looks like outside the area. It really does. I was just saying, if I showed it, um, Tavares was knackered going up to that, but... I, no, I don't know. I don't think it was a penalty, but okay, um, it's a chance. It's our bass puts us one up at the London Stadium. No, it's not London, is it? Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. London Stadium is West Ham, I think, isn't it? Um, whatever, I don't care. At the shit stadium, anyways. <laughs> anyways, it is one nil. I, I just, I don't know. I don't. It didn't look like a penalty to me, but. Um, it looked like just outside the area probably, but Hakimi there, obviously their right back, fouls me and that's it, I'll take it, 1-0. Oh, go on, grab the boat for 2-0, it is 2-0, and there's been absolutely nothing in this game to be fair. The penalty was literally the only shot and the shot on target I had all first half, and the second half, that is literally my second shot as well, I think. Um, both of us haven't really done much. Um, both of us defensive-wise have been brilliant. Possession-wise, both of us has again been brilliant. Just give it away, literally in the last like final third or whatever. Um, but yeah, unbelievable. Um, finally get that second goal, and it is two nil with two away goals. Probably done now. Um, but just played well defensive-wise as well. So yeah, and Brian grabbing back hit that second goal that we needed. There you go, a two nil victory at the Tottenham Stadium and on, honestly great great result from my youngsters there playing some great football um, Dest as well so Junior Dest my new right back was absolutely fantastic as well he had a great game at right back but as you can see here the stats wise we had more possessions just a bit anyway it's not a huge difference uh, but you can see three shots uh, two on target from me they had two shots and two on target the game was just so tight but I managed to win the game at the end of the day and you know, as I would always say, that's all that matters, but wow, what, what a game, good points from the youngsters, and uh, that is it, so 2 nil. Okay, so straight on to our final game of this video, we do have Manchester United at home, uh, hopefully to get three points there in the league, um, so that will be the final game, uh, so great result in the last game, so on to this one now, so we have a stronger team obviously this time, uh, our usual first team anyways, so hopefully we can get you know three points like I said, so uh, yeah, let's do this. And uh, let's do this. <laughs> oh, come on, Vaca. Henry Vaca to Van Bergen. <sighs> Been all over United, just can't get that goal. Um, great ball from Vaca. And then Van Bergen just over the bar. I've noticed as well, United don't even have De Gea in it. I, I don't know whether they sold De Gea or not, um, but they don't have him in goal, so either injured or sold, I don't know. Um, or not favoured anymore, I, I don't know, but. Crazy. Oh, great stuff. Finally, the first goal. Pats and Daka and Zabozle team up there to get the goal that we... 
I'd say fully deserved. <laughs> and I'm a bit, you know, a bit of 50 50 really. Uh, when I say fully deserved, we played some great football, um, just like there, just shows there, just simple one two between these players. Finally, a bit of movement as well. It's not been a lot of movement, not been a lot of space to do it. Um, but yeah, it is one though. I mean, yeah, I'd say we deserve it. It's, it's that at the end of the day. So, uh, but it's a good goal, and there you go, it's one nil. With I think Dak is eighth or ninth. Oh, okay, I'm off. It's tenth league goal of the season. Good stuff. Oh, good stuff. 2 0. It is Prettle at the back post. It is 2 0. What a ball from Green. Just come on, actually. Um, uh, Sean Green done really well on that left side there. Cutting in and out, if I showed you that. But nice little cutting. Good ball to the back post. And it's another assist for Green as he's just come on as well for uh, Henry Vacker. And Prettle gets one of his first goals for a while. He doesn't score as much. But there you go. It is 2 0. Fully deserved. Had the leg. Oh, get back on. Oh, what a hit. Go on, smash it for the fun of it. It's all going everywhere right now. <laughs> Jesus. Great ball. Look at that. Great stuff. And Menezes. 3 0. I did want to hit it first time, but kind of hesitated. And then the control was still fine. <laughs> then Menezes. I think he's left foot. I'm not. I mean, his last shot he had that was quite close, which nearly at the post if I showed you it. Um, was on his right foot and that was a nice hit but this one was on his left foot right in the bottom corner again I don't know where David De Gea is I've got to be honest I've got a feeling Man United sold him I don't know but might be injured I don't know but Menezes is there and it's 3-0 it's his first Premier League goal just like Prettle as well good stuff and there you go it is 3-0 it is done simple as that you know, the first half was boring no goals in the first half uh, was it? Yeah, oh yeah there was uh, was that first goal? No. Yeah, the first goal was in the fifth and ninth. Okay. It took quite a while to obviously get them. Um, but yeah, decent stuff. Like I said, dominated the game. As you see here, 50 50% uh, percent on the possession. So kind of even, but better game than last time that we played against them. So um, it is 3 0. And that is all that matters. So three points over United. Okay, so that'll be all from your boy Sneebles today. Hope you guys, of course, enjoyed. Um, obviously, done really well. Um, got all the wins we needed um, even the FA Cup and the League Cup as well so we beat Palace 2-0 in the lead to take three points there then we beat them in the FA Cup to get through to the fourth round then we had Spurs was in the League Cup and we beat them 2-0 uh, as well to take the first step into the final um, and then we uh, just beat Man United by a nice comfortable 3-0 as well so some comfortable victories uh, done, done really well actually um, some tough games though in some ways I mean Tottenham was a really tough game Having a weaker side out, as I always do have the youngsters out in the League Cup. Um, so yeah, some tough, uh, tough stuff. Um, but with Man City next as well, it's going to be a tough game. And Man City next could, you know, could uh, could put us above them more, you know, at least near them anyways. Uh, well, no, you know, yeah, it would be just a one point going. Um, obviously, I've not fast forwarded. Uh, I think I've got like, a week until I play Man City, so uh, I've got to fast forward that um, or skip it. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, so. Third in the table, doing really well. 14 wins, 5 draws, 3 defeats. Started very slow in the season, as you guys might have seen. Um, with only 39 goals scored, you know, we are the lowest in the top 7 scorers. Which is pretty incredible to be where we are. Um, we've had a couple 1-0 victories, fair enough. But we've just played some good football, that's, that's it at the end of the day. Um, we've only conceded 12 as well, so obviously less than we're, we're the best defence uh, in, in the top um, well, in, out of the whole league really. Um, Chelsea still at the bottom as you see there, 18th, 22 games played, only 2 wins. <laughs> Looks like they're going to get relegated if they don't you know, up their, their uh, tempo and you know, just play better. You know, it's crazy, they've got a brilliant team. I might maybe raid their team, get like a surprising sign-in for them, but <laughs> see what happens. But yeah, so it is what it is. Like I said, we're third in the table, dominating, you know, doing what we can anyways. And that's all that matters. So. But yeah, good victory against United, which pushed us above them, giving United their sixth defeat of the season as well. Um, and obviously Liverpool, they're just behind us. So as you see there, uh, Arsenal only in 44, and then the next three, so Man United, Liverpool, and Spurs all in 46, and then there's us on 47, the next one. So um, and West Ham being second as well. So West Ham having a great season, gotta be honest. Um, but Man City have dropped a little bit. Um, they've lost. They've, they have lost one game at least. 
Um, they've lost, yeah, just lost one since they last played us. Um, but other than that, yeah, like I said, we're doing really well. And that is it. So I hope you guys, of course, enjoyed. Leave a like, of course, and subscribe. Much appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next MKDon's career mode video. Peace.